welcome guys now we will start our uh, next topic which is uh, tripping what is tripping and tripping circuit this is one of uh, the very common philosophy that we'll see in production uh, one is tripping circuit another one is control circuit so i will give you a brief introduction on this one so that you can prepare your mind and clear your concept okay what is uh, tripping and what is a tripping relay in electrical engineering a protective relay is a relay device designed to trip a circuit breaker when a fault is detected the need to act quickly to protect circuits and equipment often require protective relays to respond and trip a breaker within a few thousands of seconds or milliseconds when relay senses quantity is more or less than the preset value it will issue circuit opening command that is called trip command the circuit used for tripping command is called trip circuit <coughs> so uh, the down definition is prepared by me it is very simple to understand and the upper one is a textbook definition so what is basically a trip relay uh, tripping uh, relay or tripping circuit relay definition we have already study that relay is a sensing device once the relay sense a uh, value major value is more than the set value uh, after preset time it will give the tripping command tripping command is issued and the contact of the relay will operate and through a circuit then it will be calling as a tripping circuit the tripping command will be issued and breaker will trip so this is how the tripping relay and tripping command is taking place here uh, for your understanding i have drawn a very simple tripping circuit diagram this is not what you will see in a schematics uh, i will show you in schematics later but let's for understanding the concept is very good drawing so here you can see this is the circuit breaker it is named as cb this is the trip coil uh this is the bus bar and through this circuit breaker it is feeding a load this is the ct which is a current transformer if you want not don't know about the current transformer not worry just understand that it's uh, reducing the current so that relay can measure it easily okay so uh, for example there is a fault on the line the current will be huge in kilo amperes and then it will be sensed by the relay relay will check the quantity is more than the preset value then relay the contact will operate and it will when this is operate this is a common dc coming and just waiting here when the contact will operate will be through and the trip coil will be energized this trip coil is basically a plunger mechanism then we will show you also and it will hit the mechanism the breaker and finally just like a hammering and it will open the breaker so this is how the circuit is operating in this case this circuit it will called as a tripping circuit this contact we can name it as a tripping contact and this coil will be named as a tripping coil this supply can be named as a dc tripping supply so this is how the production engineer are naming this circuit sometimes a relay is not giving trip command directly to the coil but it is operating the relay and further tripping is initiated through relay auxiliary contact and these relays are called as tripping relays and the uh, the relay which is sensing and give operating the tripping relay is called as main relay so this is how the system is 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 working so this is a very simple diagram for your understanding later we will see in the drawings how this circuit is shown just remember and try to understand the working principle here okay this is again another circuit uh, this is uh, shown by a ladder diagram which is very easy to understand 
here is the DC supply available here this is solid positive we are calling it as a solid positive which is coming to a, through a common bus this is negative or solid negative solid positive and negative means a supply which is coming directly from MCB and it is not controlled through some contactor or, or something else and solid positive is distributed through a bus okay then it's coming to the relay okay uh, relay when sense the fault it will operate the contact this contact and then further this tripping through this this contact will be closed and coming to here this is circuit breaker 52a normally open contact so if breaker is closed this will be closed also and breaker will trip so this is how the circuit is uh, used thank you so guys let's see how tripping circuit uh, is uh, look like in actual drawing in letter diagram it is very easy to understand but uh, just keep letter diagram in your mind and let us see how the tripping is happening here first of all in this circuit I have uh, noticed that okay tripping is not direct uh, to trip coil it is through lockout relay so first of all if you go through the drawing you will see the tripping a page where tripping is shown uh, this is line differential distance production and this is the trip name is strip here and uh, this is a test plug this when the relay will uh, sense a fault it will issue a trip command through the boundary output contact one and two again through test plug it will energized lockout relay f86.1 they have not mentioned lockout that's why you need to know the function codes of different relays so when this relay will operate then breaker will trip so let's see another tripping which is related to overcurrent earth fault relay when this relay operates it will, op it will operate the lockout relay f86.2 and further the tripping will be issued okay now let's see where the tripping command is issued we will move to the next page we can see uh, the contact of this relays are used at sheet 34, 35, 43 and 45 so we have to look at where is the actual tripping is used here okay this is on the next page immediately I found TC1 earlier I have explained that TC1 is not symbol as look like uh, uh, auxiliary relay but it's a tripping coil so we will see how the 86 1 and 2 are initiating trip here you can see when the 86 relay is operated by a differential relay then further it will include its contact 1 and 3 and the trip will be traveling from our panel RP3 to local control cubicle and then through this auxiliary contact of the breaker it is energizing this trip coil so this is how you will find the tripping circuit in the drawing so if you you know the letter diagram you can easily understand how the circuit is functional or working another trip is tripping of uh, distance production relay it is tripping in zone 1 and this tripping is direct it is not through lockout it is giving direct trip to the production relay I will give you a little hint here that it is direct uh, they don't want to operate lockout in zone 1 because in zone 1 most of the cases auto recloser is required so if lockout is operated breaker is uh, locked it cannot recluse unless someone come and reset the lockout electrically or by hand mechanically so that's why they have provided this tripping direct uh, just information just keep in your mind and once we are in our next phases we will be able to understand in detail so this is trip uh, there are two trip coils in a uh, circuit breaker so this that was TC1 trip coil 1 
and this is strip coil 2 so you can see again here that lock off F86.1 will operate through differential delay and then it will make tripping through this auxiliary contact and then this tripping coil 2 will be energized and will trip the breaker so this is the little understanding i hope you enjoy the lecture and let's move to the next lecture now thank you